What's up, people? We are back with more of WAS, the Hourglass of Lepidoptera. After an emotional previous video where we've confirmed the fact that we can actually get bad endings, or sort of, it's, it really seemed like a bad ending, right? I guess it's safe to call it that. And yeah, um, we got into an argument with our poor Rosary, and it really sucks. Just thinking about it now, it still makes me kind of sad, the fact that this is the road that we have to take, but we have apparently no other choice. And we, we sort of have to listen to the advice Nina gives us as well. As mysterious as it was, I have a feeling that she know, she obviously knows more than she lets on, and we sort of have to do what she says, because that's the, the, the road that we're taking right now, so... Lin is apparently the key to 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 everything with the mysterious man, I think. But yeah, we'll find out. Uh, Tadayoshi just ran away from the church, so let us continue from here. Why are women so messed up? I can understand you, kid. You don't need women in your life. Tadayoshi couldn't come to me. No way. Seriously. I've been sitting in a corner stall. Complaining, I've actually become sort of like pals, friends, buddies with the man in the jumpsuit. And Rosary is not even remotely blameless. She gave me all sorts of help for just skipping a little work. Master, give me another round. Got it. The master of the stall refills my mug. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. That boy seems drunk. Did you give him alcohol? Nah, I only gave him water. He's just pretending to be drunk. Yeah, no booze for kids. You can have my milk, boy. Free refills, <laughs> this guy. I have no idea what you're talking about, but no thanks. And I wanted alcohol, not water. Give me booze. Heh, <laughs> spoken like a true man. I agree. There are days when you just want to drink it all away. Master, I'll pay for his drink. So would you serve him one? What the hell are you thinking? Hell no! That woman's right. If he does, some big influence will remove him. Well, that meatbag over there keeps on saying some pretty kinky stuff. He should realize that. <laughs> I don't see a problem. Just one drink won't hurt. What do you say, kid? Oh, you're so reasonable. I agree. One drink won't hurt anyone. Fine, fine. I'll get you one then. The master pours some alcohol into an empty mug. The smell of alcohol stings my nose. This must be the real deal. I wonder how it tastes. Oh, uh, your first taste of alcohol is always... It's, for me, it wasn't a good experience because it's always just especially when it's like beer or something like oh my god that is so freaking bitter and the taste of beers for me I personally th feel it's sort of an acquired taste I did not like it at all at the very beginning but like the more I drank it I more just got used to it but beer was a drink that I always just like yeah all right it's not something where like oh I love beer so much it was just it's a means for me to get drunk yeah <laughs> that's how I looked at it I grabbed the mug with great interest I bring it close to my mouth, and... Ouch! What are you doing? I drop my mug, breaking it and spilling the contents on the ground. You are too fucking young to be drinking! Oh no! It's you, Lin! It's your guys' fault too! Rosary keeps telling you not to give alcohol to kids. We do as she says, and we get food from the church in return. Am I wrong? Oh, you tell her, Lin. Lin gazes at everyone, and they all become quiet. I'm going to take him with me, to give him some lessons. D don't drag me like that, Lin. You rip my clothes. <sighs> Lin grabs me by the neck, then starts dragging me. Uh-oh, she's pretty pissed as well. Don't argue with Rosary if it's gonna make you lose yourself in booze. Huh. How did you know that? Stupid question, man. I can read your mind, remember? 
all your thoughts are clear for me to see. Uh, yes, I remember her ability. I can't hide anything from Lin. There's no point trying to either. But I guess it's my mistake that I started to like him. Lin? What did you just say? N nothing. But hey, do you actually understand why Rosary is so mad at you? Yeah, it's because I skipped work at the church. You know nothing. You're still a sheltered brat. You say that too? Lin sighs deeply. Have I done something else wrong? So, what are you going to do? No idea. I don't think I can return to the church anytime soon, since I told her I'm leaving. It's too soon to return to the church. But it's too dangerous to sleep outside. Obviously, we're gonna sleep with Lin, right? That's the only logical option. I've become familiar with some people in the slums, but not all of them. If I try to spend the night outside, I am sure I'll be robbed and killed. If you have nowhere to go, come stay at my place. I'll beat some character into you. L Lin, is that okay? I kind of had a feeling that Lin would give me somewhere to stay. If you sleep outside in the slums, you're gonna end up in big trouble. And you're too weak to mess with me. I guess I'll take that as a compliment. It means she trusts me. I know Lin's really strong. I can't risk pulling a prank on her. She's been beating me so badly in sparring. I think it would be bad uh, would be funny to scribble on her forehead. Wait. Lin could have just read that thought. Better not to think like that. Yeah, she just read that too. I glance at Lin's face tentatively. Don't look at me. Is there something on my face? Phew. She didn't pick up on that one. So I guess she doesn't pick up on random thoughts when she's not trying. Yeah. See? That's kind of how I thought it would work, but because otherwise it's it's not even a superpower, right? Then it's actually just an annoyance. Cause then you'll just be keep hearing random thoughts from everyone at the same time and just continuously. That seems more like trouble than actually good, so So Lin, please treat me kindly. I'll beat you to get stronger, so be prepared. What? An empty loading screen? Oh no. I've gotten so used to all the other loading screens. I think that's it for cleaning. So... And so, I started living with Lin. It's like an apprentice living with their master. Well, I'll do the housework while I'm here. Like cleaning and washing up. Lin does the cooking though. Oh yeah, her cooking is amazing, so... But she doesn't actually serve me her home cooking. Instead, she buys us ready-made food. But I can't afford to be choosy. I realize more than ever how lucky I am to be able to eat on a daily basis here. Washing clothes is a difficult task. I fill the wooden basket with water, then wash the clothes with the washboard. Not bad if I say so myself. I feel a sense of accomplishment as I look at a shirt, I washed my hand. Next one. Huh? I pull a thin, black cloth from a pile of laundry. I unfold it to see that the cloth has a beautiful, triangular shape. <laughs> wow! Does Lin really wear stuff like this? We agree that we'd, we'd each wash our own underwear, but Lin must have accidentally put hers, uh, put some of hers on my pile. I washed the ch children's underwear when I was still at the church. Rosary did hers on her own. But it looks too small. I don't see how it could actually function as underwear. I've never seen panties like this before. It's small and thin compared to the briefs I wear. I ponder what it must feel like to wear. Oh, please don't try it on ourselves. Please don't. His face! His face is so brilliant! Boy! What the hell are you doing right now? Washing! Isn't it obvious? Uh-huh. Can you magically clean underwear by staring at it? No! 
I was just surprised that your underwear was in the laundry pile. And I'm thinking over what to do with this. But it's pretty obvious you're ogling it, yeah? Uh, absolutely not. Okay, I will wash this one for you. Very well. You have just bre uh, breathed your last. Or breathe your last breath. Lynn grabs her underwear from my hand, then punches me hard. Uh, ow! Why? It's your fault! I hate men who get off on looking at women's underwear. Lynn says in disgust. We weren't getting off, we were like l watching in, you know, out of curiosity. <laughs> and I mean, look at his face, he's like, hmm? Is, can women really wear this? I don't see the practicality use of this. It is too small. That's literally his face. Her, her cheeks are red. But is it because she's angry? Or because she's embarrassed? Hmm. Can't take my eyes off of you for one second. I'd better explain before she really starts hating me. I I'm not turned on by this. Don't get excited over a little scrap of cloth like this. I see Lin's eyebrows rise so high. Uh, did I make a mistake? That pisses me off too! Whack! Ah! We can't say the right thing. <laughs> why, did she, why did she hit me again? I'm sure I didn't say anything weird. You'd better wash those dirty thoughts out of your head before you wash those clothes. Lin shouts and leaves. Women are really hard to understand. After the housework, I do some warm-ups. After that, it's time for sparring with Lin. Ah! Whoa! Lin strikes, uh, strike, grazes my cheek. Oh? You're getting less bad. Oomph! I quickly block the attack, since I figure it will be impossible to dodge. Good! As long as you don't take a fatal hit, you can still win. It still hurts, even if I block her attack. But thanks to the training, I can track Lin's movement better, and my body can react to it. Whoa! I charge at Lin. Tomfa's at the ready. I try an uppercut with my left Tomfa. It's still easy to dodge. Your eyes are giving everything away. Lin easily dodges the attack, taking a, an oblique stance. Gotcha! Ah! I expected her to dodge that attack, so I spin my body to strike her with my right tonfa. Phew! That was close! Well done! Thanks! But you easily blocked that one too! The second attack was blocked by her tonfa. You still made me block your attack! That's something to be proud of, but... Gotcha! Oh. As I start to fall off balance, she kicks me in the stomach. Ah! <laughs> it's hard to breathe. The hard hit in the stomach is making me lose my lunch. Got that, boy? This happens if you don't recover your balance as soon as you can uh, after your attack is blocked. Ah! <laughs> I I give up. Yet another defeat. Seems like I still can't catch up with Lin. No, but she's like the master. I mean, when does the the apprentice ever catch up to the master? It's really, really hard, right? In some movies and whatnot, it does happen occasionally, but still, it's really hard. And it's usually happens, and if that is the case, that's usually because the apprentice is more talented than the master, but the the skills from the apprentice is still unrefined, but the master helps him refine the skills and therefore he can become better than the master. But that is not the case with Tadayoshi at all, he just started with nothing, probably zero physical uh, talent as well, and he just built himself from nowhere to a pretty decent level at now, uh, right now, so that's something to commend as well. But yeah, it's sleepy sleepy time. He seems to be sleeping well. He won't be getting up anytime soon. Looks like he's tired out from today's training. How bold, sleeping with such a relieved look on his face. This boy looks nothing like my brother. Brother? She's letting on something here that we didn't know before. 
So why does this make me think of him? The image of my departed younger brother, uh, brother's face overlaps with Tadayoshi's. His peaceful sleeping reminds me of a long time ago. How many years has it been since that happened? After the war, my family broke up. I don't know if they are still alive or not. Now is not the time to be sentimental. I leave, being careful not to wake Tadayoshi. There's something I must do. She's going to the church? <laughs> I had a feeling you'd be here. I'm sorry for making you wait, Rosary. I got to the church, standing on the hill on the outskirts of the town. I've been visiting the church frequently ever since Tadayoshi came to live with me. Are you doing well with Tadayoshi-kun? It's alright. I don't know what she thinks, but it's patently obvious that Rosary wants to come to my place to see Tadayoshi. That said, why hasn't she actually come to see us yet? I report to Rosary that Tadayoshi and I are doing, to, uh, are doing together like this. Oh how, yeah. Earlier... Huh? Tadayoshi-kun, you're so stupid! Yeah, he'll get what he deserves for making you cry. I'll spank his ass for that. L Lin, why are you here? I had a bad feeling about you, and it seems like I'm too late. I knew he visited me so often that he'd skip work at the church. I was worried that he and Rosary would butt heads at some point, and sure enough, they did. Uh, Lin, I... Hey, don't cry like that! People will think I'm bullying you! <laughs> What's wrong with you, Rosary? Are you crying and laughing at the same time? Has that boy made you crazy? S sorry but you sounded exactly like Tadayoshi-kun just now. So, what? I sounded like him? That can't be happening. Did I really speak like Tadayoshi? I didn't intend to do that. Rosary must be taking it wrong. My place is the only place he could stay. Are you coming with me? Ask for that, Lin. Will you take care of Tadayoshi-kun for a while? Please? Huh? Isn't that boy a member of your family? I know, but... <laughs> She's actually sick of us. <laughs> She's sick of Tadayoshi. <laughs> I know he's trying hard. I want to support him to the end. Yeah, men usually find some way to keep the faith. You really know a lot about him, don't you? Rosary smirked at me. She was crying a while ago. But she changed expressions so quickly. Uh, I had a younger brother, so I could just guess. And hey, Rosary, I used to argue with my brother all the time, but we always ended up back together. So don't worry about him. Thank you, Lin. Rosary looked relieved. I don't know all the details, but I think he must have said something he really shouldn't have. I'll teach him a lesson for that. Your lesson sounds painful, I think. But Tadayoshi-kun is a boy. If he's alone with you, no problem about that either. Okay, I know. I locked eyes with Rosary, and we nodded at the same time. Because he doesn't have the guts to do anything. <laughs> That's probably true. That was our entire discussion before. I think it's my rightful duty, like Rosary, and the boy say, to inform Rosary. Considering the look on your face, you seem to be doing well with Tadayoshi-kun. Oh, hey, on a more serious topic, take a look at this. Rosary hands me a newspaper. What's this? Yes. I can't read those kanji. Rosary! Read it for me! What? Didn't you come from China? 
I still can't read them. Go on, read it for me. Lin, you're acting even more similar to Tadayoshi-kun. Uh, <laughs> has his, um, uh, has his way of talking rubbed off on me from living with him? But that's not important for now. There have been several children kidnapped in, uh, Okayama and Hiroshima recently. So I've gotten the word to keep an eye out for them. Aha, uh -huh. but where are Okayama and Hiroshima? East from here. Okay, but hell. Who would risk their lives coming to a place in Japan as dangerous as this? I don't know, but it's happening not too far from here, so we'd better be careful. Peace came back when the war ended, but now children are being kidnapped. What a troubled time. Got it. I'll be careful. And I think that's it for today. Wait, Lin, don't tell Tadayoshi-kun about that. Of course not. If he knows about that, I'm sure he'll go out looking for the people responsible for it. He's practically made of curiosity, so of course he tried to get involved. Heh, <laughs> thank you Lin. Take care of Tadayoshi-kun. He's under my training, so expect him to be tougher when I give him back to you. I can't imagine him becoming tougher. I can understand that. He's better than before but still a sheltered boy. Rosary and I shared a laugh. But the more I think about those kidnapping cases, it doesn't make sense doing that in a dangerous place like this. But I still have to keep my eyes open for it. Days later, Lin, finish eating your breakfast! I pull on Lin's arms, motivated by a feeling of eagerness. <clears throat> my food's gonna get stuck in my throat if you pull on my arms like that! Lin and I eat breakfast after we train early in the morning. But this morning, I can't spend too long on breakfast. I have finally found it! Lin, you're always earning money to put food in both of our mouths, and I'm always grateful. Yeah, I'd really like to eat food at my own pace. But I finally found a way to earn money myself. Now I can provide for you in return. Oh, this is good. Try some. Lin doesn't seem to be listening, but I have found it. I have found a sign. Boy, you want me to guess what you were thinking? Yeah, guess Lin. Read my mind or whatever. I want you to be excited too. Lin sighs at me, looking amazed, but I don't care. I'll say it again, I have found it! I found THE sign when I took a different path back to Lin's place during today's jog. Dude, you're obviously showing your feelings on your face, and it's even easier to see it today. But one thing, you'll never catch a sandworm. Lin may have read my mind, but that doesn't matter, yes. I found a sign about a sandworm. What? The sign had a price on it. The numbers were so high. Even the old rich kid's self would have been shocked. What? I thought he actually found like, you know, a job or something or a chore that he could do for money. But no, it's like a lost and sign poster or something about a, si a sandworm or something. I don't know. With the reward money on it. Oh god. I'd only ever ra uh, read about sandworms in books, so I thought they didn't exist. But they're here in Japan, and right nearby. Did you see that massive reward? It's like they're telling us to catch one. <laughs> Who told you to catch it? Come on. They set the reward that high because they know it's almost impossible to find one. Hmm. And what's this us business? There's no us in this. That's what I said. We will catch it. No way. So, let's go catch us a sandworm, Lin. Damn it. Are you out of your mind? I'm serious. I'll use the reward to make your life better. Hey, do you know how big sandworms are? It doesn't matter if there's a reward for one. 
I'm, I've never even heard of someone catching one before. What are you talking about? I asked around, and all the folks here, they said they did catch one once. Ah, uh, I guess he didn't realize that they were lying. He'll get himself scammed if he's not careful. Lin seems to be thinking over something. Is the sandworm that tough? Well, with that in mind, today's training will be sandworm hunting. If we leave here now, we'll arrive at noon. With what in mind? And quit dragging me out! I haven't finished my breakfast yet! I drag Lin forcefully out of her home. Regardless of age, all men love an adventure. I'm getting so excited! Well, I doubt we'll actually find a sandworm. So let's just do this for a change of pace. And if we do go to the dune, I could show him that place. Alright, well we're gonna end the video here. So apparently, um, Lin and... Well, it, it was already sort of known, right? That Lin and Rosary are... Decently acquainted? Should I say friends? Yeah, I guess it's pretty safe to say that they're sort of friends and... Um, so yeah, obviously Rosary, despite the fight, Rosary still cares about us to to an extent. Or I don't think her feelings changed at all. She just we had a little bit of a difference in what our priorities are in life, and you know that doesn't ultimately change the feelings that we have for each other, and we still care about each other. So you know it's good to know that, even though probably Tadayoshi doesn't know that for himself, but. The thing about the missing children is really interesting. I have a feeling that obviously that will have to do with something somewhere in the future, but that's something that we do not know yet. And the only way to find out is to look and watch in the next video. So I want to thank you guys so very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more. And I hope to see you then in the next video. Peace!